हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इन्फिनिटी आई एस अकेडमी पुणे एज वी हैव स्टार्टेड ऑलरेडी पी वाई क्यू सीरीज सो हेयर माइ सेल्फ गोरक्ष सांगले फ्रॉम इन्फिनिटी आई एस अकेडमी पुणे एंड वी हैव स्टार्टेड टॉपिक मनी एंड बैंकिंग फ्रॉम पी वाई क्यू सीरीज पार्ट टू सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन द कंटेक्स्ट ऑफ इंडियन इकॉनॉमी विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग आर द पर्पजेस ऑफ स्टैच्युटरी रिजर्व रिक्वायरमेंट्स सी द की वर्ड हेयर इज स्टैच्युटरी रिजर्व रिक्वायरमेंट्स so if you analyze the options properly then to enable the central bank to control the amount of advances yes it is correct second to make the people deposit with the bank safe and liquid it doesn't make any sense actually why will rbi think about that uh, there should be a separate statutory reserve or statutory or there would be separate concept for making people's bank account safe and liquid so that is a uh, irrelevant option and that is why if you go through elimination method option 4 and option b option b and option d that almost option c also so see the use of elimination technique while going for prelims we should always keep in mind the fact that elimination technique is quite important as far as solving mcqs is concerned so automatically you will get answer 1 and even if you read other options also to prevent the commercial banks from making excessive profit that is also that that also doesn't make any sense to force the bank force the bank rbi never forces so remember the word how sufficient world cash to meet their day to day requirement so there is only one answer that is answer a that's it statutory reserve requirements we already studied yesterday that what is statutory reserve requirement it is nothing but it is one of the measure of quantitative one of the tool of quantitative measure quantitative measure okay of credit control so next question basel 3 accord or simply basel 3 often seen in the news so what is basel basel 3 basically the question is in economic section so basel 3 when you read about the first one is about develop national strategies for the conservation and sustainable use of di uh, biological diversity no improve banking sector's ability to deal with okay it is related with banking sector so the answer is b in the option c it is greenhouse gas in the option now see if you go for option even if you, if you think that the chances suppose you don't have any knowledge in this question still you have to solve this question so what logic can be used for this option 1 and option 3 are having the resemblance that is about greenhouse gases biological diversity so both options that is option a and option c are related with environment so chances are less the answer is in between a and c i am talking about solving mcq even though you don't have knowledge or little knowledge of the question read the options carefully last option transfer technology from developed countries to poor countries to enable them to replace the use of chlorofluorocarbon again this is very interesting so all three options are same that is option a option c and option d and it doesn't make any sense so here is with the use of knowledge it is direct directly you can attempt this one improve banking sector's ability to deal with financial and economic stress and improve risk management as basel is a well known city where uh, most of the economic activities take place normally so the answer is here option b now next question when the reserve of reserve bank of india reduces the statutory liquidity ratio now slr slr when it is it reduces slr which of the following is likely to happen what are the chances i mean what will happen after reduction of slr by rbi now whenever rbi lowers the interest rate we know that it is a cheap money policy whenever rbi increases the rate we know that it is dear money policy or called as tight money policy now see the options india gdp growth rates drast uh, increases drastically whenever you encounter with or whenever you come across with this kind of words that is drastic or uh, extreme words drastically is extreme word here again in the last option it may drastically reduce the liquidity to the banking system 
here also extreme word whenever the extreme word is there chances are high that the statement is wrong always go through the pyq and you will come to know about this fact foreign institutional investors may bring more capital into our country now it has nothing to do with rbi so obviously scheduled commercial banks may cut their lending rates obviously rbi has cut down the lending rate or rbi has cut down the slr so definitely uh, other banks that is commercial banks they will or they may cut their lending rates so answer here is option c fourth one with reference to indian economy consider the following bank rate open market operation public debt and public revenue these are the four options have been given so you have been asked that which are the components of monetary policy quite hot topic in the upsc prelims monetary policy now see bank rate is the yes it is the component of monetary policy second open market operation it is the component of uh, open market that is monetary policy in a bank rate what happens actually the bank rate is the rate at which rbi lends to commercial banks for long term obviously now open market operation means what actually it is sale and purchase of government securities by rbi so both of these are monetary uh, components of monetary policy public debt and public revenue these are part of public finance so it is not part of monetary policy and then you will come to know about the answer and the answer is option c next the establishment of payment bank payment bank yes it is the new mechanism in banking sector is being allowed in the india to promote financial inclusion keywords are financial inclusion which of the following statements is or are correct in this regard or in this context see the first statement mobile telephone companies and supermarket chains that are owned and controlled by residents are eligible to be the promoters of the payment bank yes of course you will come up across wherever you live wherever, wherever you visit any city you will come to know about that airtel payment bank and all those things so mobile telephone companies are the promoters second payment banks can issue both credit card now both both credit card and debit card so they don't have the facility of credit card so second statement is wrong payment banks cannot undertake lending activities yes that is true they do not lend they just take the deposits and that is why the answer is 1 and 3 only so my point is here that read the statement carefully then in the second question both credit cards now again here is the marker both take doubt if these kind of words come across you have high chances that the statement is uh, statement may be wrong it may happen sometime that statement might be correct but that doesn't mean my point is that whenever you don't you have little knowledge of the question still you want to attempt that question then you have to use this kind of strategies for that question now next question what is or what are the purposes of the marginal cost of fund based lending rate announced by rbi mclr these guidelines help improve the transparency in the methodology followed by banks for determining the interest rates in advances on advances yes true these guidelines help ensure availability of bank credit at interest rate this is also correct one which are fair to the borrowers as well as the bank so mcl mclr is what actually earlier there was a concept of base rate by rbi now base rate hasn't uh, that has not been into practice instead rbi has used or is using the mechanism of mclr as it is beneficial or uh, fair for both borrowers as well as for the banks and as well as it improve the transparency in the methodology followed by banks for determining their own interest rates right so both of the statements are correct there is no scope for doubt uh, in in any question or in any statement of this question so answer is both one and two another question is what is or what are the purpose purposes of the government's sovereign gold bond scheme and gold monetization scheme the two schemes are given sovereign gold bond and gold monetization now see the first statement to bring the idle gold lying with the indian household in the, into the economy yes of course it is idle we buy gold and keep in the uh, keep it in the cupboard and we indians have the habit of showing gold and all those things that is ostentation to promote fdi in the gold no 
that is not the purpose of government of india why will they promote fdi in the gold and how can it be possible so first statement is right second is wrong and now second if second is wrong you are left with only two options that is 50 50 now here you have to take chance in upsc prelims always keep in mind if you are perfectly eliminating two options and if you are with the two options only you have to take the chance doesn't matter whether the answer will be correct or wrong now one only and one and three let us read the third statement to reduce india's dependence on gold import yes obviously because if the gold comes into the market the government utilize will utilize will utilize it, utilize it as it was in the ideal state or, already and that is why both of the schemes are necessary and uh, for this purpose that is the to re reduce india's dependence on gold import and as well as to bring the ideal gold lying with the indian household into the economy so answer here is one and three see the next question which of the following statement is or are correct regarding the monetary policy committee mpc as we studied see how many questions have come across in the previous year question paper regarding monetary policy now right now also it is in the news huh? because they have increased you know uh, crr now the upsc is not going to ask how much percent they have increased rather they are interested in applied question as we are taking it decides the rbi's benchmark interest rate yes it is a 12 member body now see 12 member body including the governor of rbi and it reconstituted every year so the problem here is it is not a 12 member body it is a six member body so second is wrong statement now let us come to the elimination method if second is the wrong statement again you are left with one that is option a and option c now it is very interesting you don't read to uh, you don't you don't even read to option number three to get the answer of this question how because you are very sure that the first statement is correct and if the first statement is correct third is absolutely wrong because there is no option such as right because uh, let us read the third question or the third statement also it functions under the chairmanship of union finance minister no who is the chairman of the monetary policy committee obviously it is rbi governor rbi governor is the chairman of mpc the answer here is a only consider the following statement national payment corporation of india helps in promoting the financial inclusion yes the major purpose of npci is nothing but uh, boosting or uh, promoting financial inclusion npci has launched rupee card a credit a card payment scheme that is also correct so both of the statements are correct quite easy question it was asked in 2017 it was quite in the news as you know aftermath of demonetization so that is why the question was asked on this topic question number 10 which of the following is most likely the consequences the most likely the consequences of implementing the upi what will happen or what happened when upi came again this was in the uh, this was in the news or upsc asked this question because of that demonetization digital india digital payment mode and all those things let us study the options mobile wallet will not be necessary for online payment okay digital currency will totally totally underline it as we talked earlier drastic or extreme words you have to take the doubts on these words again in the third also again so automatically you are left with only option a and option d so think on them because see fdi inflows will drastically increase there is no relation between fdi and upi right second thing is that this will digital currency will totally replace the physical currency how is it possible and that too about in two to two decades is it possible in a country like india not at all even even after five decades we cannot say that it will totally replace so there is extremely extreme words are used here so the statement b and statement c are wrong and that is why we are left with option d and a again direct transfer of subsidies to poor people see here direct transfer of subsidies to poor people do all people do all poor people have upi do they know about it logical use common sense so chances are that this statement might be wrong or it is absolutely wrong and that is why mobile wallets will not be necessary not i mean it is not of you 
it not be necessary for online payment because once you have UPI, there is no need of mobile wallets. So, the answer is here A, option number A. See, what is the purpose of setting up of small finance bank? Small finance bank, first statement, to supply credit to small business units, okay, right? To supply credit to small and marginal farmers, that is also right. To encourage young entrepreneurs to set up business particularly in rural areas, okay. Particularly in rural areas. So, here it hasn't said that it is only in rural areas. So, the statement is quite correct and hence all the statements are correct. There are no extreme words, very simple statement, information, informative questions, information has been given in the option. So, small finance banks, so latest development as far as financial inclusion is concerned, again, what is, it is payment banks, small finance banks, this is all for, all for financial inclusion. Next question, which of the following statement best describes the scheme for sustainable structuring of stressed asset? This is because, see, sustainable scheme for sustainable structuring stressed asset. It is called as S4A, S4A. We'll say, sir, how S4A? Scheme S, S2, 3 and 4. That is why it is called as S4A. It was in the news and it was uh, in the economic survey of 2016-17, uh, 16-17, right. So, that was why it was asked in the UPSC prelims 2017. Let us uh, study the options. It is a procedure for considering ecological cost of development scheme formulated by the government of India. Now, read the concept or the keywords of the question carefully. Scheme for sustainable structuring of stressed asset. Now, stressed asset, is there any relation, ecological cost? No, not at all. Both are irrelevant. So, here, first is absolutely not. It is a scheme for RBI, re, uh, reworking the financial structure of big corporate entities facing genuine difficulties. Okay, we will consider about it. It is a disinvestment plan of the government. No, it is not a disinvestment plan. It is an import, important provision in the insolvency and bankruptcy code, obviously not. So, here answer is it is a scheme of RBI for reworking the financial structure. See, reworking of the financial structure and a scheme for structuring of stressed asset. So, careful reading of the question with the focus on keywords will give you an edge to find out the answer of the question, right? See, next question, with reference to the governance of public sector banking in India, consider the following statement, capital info infusion, so here is the governance of public sector banking, capital infusion into public sector banks by the government of India is steadily increased in the last decade, yes it is increased, to put the public sector banks in order, the merger of associate banks with the parent state bank of India has been affected. That is also correct. The SBI and its merger, you know it. And both of the statements are informative in nature. And that is why answer is both 1 and 2. Both 1 and 2. Option C. Which one of the following statement correctly describes the meaning of legal tender money? Now, legal tender money, simple definition has been asked. The de definition has been given in the NCRT macroeconomics also. The money which is rendered in courts of law to defray the fee, the money which is a creditor, which a creditor is under compulsion to accept in settlement of his claims, the bank money in the form of checks, drafts and bill of exchange. Yes, it is there. See, the fourth option is extremely irrelevant, the metallic money in circulation in a country. How can it be? Money in the form of checks, factual question, checks, draft and bill of exchange that we call as the legal tender money because uh, we, we, it is, I mean, if, if, if the money is not given, then you know that when the check is bounced, the, you can be so, sued in the court. Next, with reference to digital payments, consider the following statements. Now, it is about digital payment. BMAP allows the user to transfer money to anyone with a UPI bank account. Yes, true. While a chip pin debit card has four factors of authentication, BMAP has only 
two factors of authentication that is correct because whenever you, there is a bmap you know that there is one password which you enter while entering the bmap and another part password for transaction so that is called as the two factors of authentication and that's why answer here is both one and two now if you observe carefully this is civil services prelims 2018 question why this question was asked or why do upsc or what do upsc ask in general they ask the questions which are quite relevant or applied or practical in nature because digital india is quite in the news government is boosting or for uh, giving boost for uh, promotion of digital india giving boost for financial inclusion and hence the question comes on those topics so while preparing uh, upsc prelims you need to keep in mind these facts the question and second thing is that reading the question properly and then going for option using elimination method using common sense technique you can absolutely solve these kind of questions so guys uh, for uh, further batch inquiry you can call here on this number 9022 983212 for infinity is academy pune thank you so much we'll meet for the next session very soon thanks a lot